All right, folks. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at this radio. It's a brand new HA1UV from iLunes. iLunes is in partnership or owned by Retivas. I'm not 100% sure how that relationship works. Uh, it is a dual band radio. It's capable of transmitting on 2 meters and 70 centimeters. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to test the spectral purity or the output of this radio on two meters to see if it's spectrally pure and free of harmonic emissions. There's no requirement for that on 70 centimeters, so we're not going to test that. The radio has three power settings, high, medium, and low. I consulted the manual, which I keep with me at all times, and it says it has three power settings, high, medium, and low, but it didn't say what the expected power output is. I'm assuming high is 5 watts, but I don't know for sure, so we're going to use a 10 watt attenuator rated for 40 dB of attenuation. I'm going to hook that directly to the radio, I'll show you how we set all that up. And then I'm going to connect this one, which is a 1 watt 30 dB attenuator. So we're going to have about 70 dB of attenuation, which gets the tiny SA right in its sweet zone for reading signals, give or take a little bit. Anyhow, before we get started, I did want to say that I was contacted by my friends at iLunes and they said, hey, we'd like you to review this radio ape. So that means they sent this to me free of charge in exchange for this video review. If you're the type of person who is triggered by sponsored content on YouTube, I suggest you go watch some cat videos. Okay, we are connected and the radio is on and it's set for high power. So we're going to go high, medium, low for these tests. The radio has the attenuator directly connected. It was a little bit of a tight fit because it starts to bump up against this knob, but that's okay. Then we have the smaller attenuator and we have a small piece of RG, I think it's 316, coaxial cable connecting into our tiny SA, which has a USB-C plug that goes directly into my computer for software control. Let me go ahead and pull up the software and I'll show you how we configure the tiny SA to perform this test. Okay, quickly, I wanted to go over the rules here and pay attention to the second paragraph. It says for a transmitter having a mean power of 25 watts or less, that is this radio, the mean power of any spurious emission supplied to the antenna transmission line must not exceed 25 microwatts and must be at least 40 dB below the mean power of the fundamental emission, but need not be reduced below the power of 10 microwatts. So if we take a look at the bottom of this, what it says is that 25 microwatts equals 0 0.000025 watts. That's a negative 16.02 dBm, so we're going to set up a measure line to see if uh, we are below that. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so hopefully you can see the screen of the tiny SA okay. I'm going to be moving all this stuff around so I can see it okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the menu and here you can see I am at the top menu and what I want to pick here is measure. And then I have an option right here called harmonic and I'm going to choose that. Now what it's going to do is it's going to ask me for the frequency of the fundamental, which we are going to do 146.52 and I'm going to click M for megahertz or mega cycles if you're old school. And now it asks me for the span of the measurement that we want to do. Zero equals full span. Now, a lot of times, myself included, we'll put 14652 so we can see a wider span, but it's not entirely necessary. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go 10 megahertz or megacycles if you're old school. And then now what you can see are various bars dividing this frequency up. You can see at the bottom the center frequency for each one of those columns. All right, that was pretty easy, right? So what I want to do now is I want to account for my 70 dB of attenuation. So again, at the menu, I'm going to go into level and then I'm going to pick uh, external gain. And here I'm going to type in negative 70 times one. That gives me my 70 dB of attenuation. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here and go back into the menu. And I believe it's under level. And there should be, no, it's not there. Maybe it's under display, draw line. And I want to draw my line at negative 16.02 times one. And what this is going to do is it's going to take us back. And now you can see that blue line going across the bottom. And that shows the line that we want to be below. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to key up the radio. And I'm going to hold it down for a couple seconds because it needs to settle itself out. 
So when I do this, we get our fundamental frequency and you can see that that fundamental frequency is reading about 35, give or take dB. And then you can see we do have markers at number three and number four. Those markers are called delta markers. Number three just disappeared and it keeps coming back. Same thing with four, but both of them are below that line. So that's a good thing. And both of them are more than 40 dB below. So in high power, two meters, this radio is clean. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push this button on here so I can change the power level on the radio. And we are going to go from high to medium. And we just accepted those changes. All right, now I'm going to key up and I'm going to hold it down for a few seconds. So when I do this, everything is sorting itself out. And you can see that we are frequency uh, at the first marker. is our, It says 146.41. We're using 401 data points. So it's close enough. It doesn't really matter. And uh, once again, this thing is clean. And uh, that's a good sign because a lot of radios that we get in here, I test and they're not clean. And a lot of times I don't even do videos on them because I reach back out to the vendor and they swear that there was some kind of problem and it's a prototype unit. But in this case, we're clean. Let me go ahead over here and go back in and change our, our transmission power. And we're going to set it down to low. And I've selected that. Now I'm going to key up and we're going to see this one more time. And it looks like we're around 29, 29 and a half dBm for low power. And we do have a little bit of a spike at Delta marker two, but that's 50 dB give or take down from our, our fundamental frequency, which is good. And it's below the blue line. With all that being said, this radio gets a pass. It's clean. Thank you to Aloons uh, Redivis for sending it to me. And thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. As always, thanks for watching.